All right, guys. Time to get tricky with it. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. Trig basics day one. I'm going to go through this. I'm going to talk about the best way to do some of these problems. This is stuff we talked about. I know we went really fast in class today. Um, so this maybe helped clear some things up. First part is the trigonomic ratios. We learned the word so ka toa kind of rolls off the tongue. So we know that sine goes with opposite over hypotenuse. So this one's out. We know that cosine goes with adjacent over hypotenuse. Oh, so we're still good. And then we know tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So this one's out. This is the only one that lists the three trigonometry ratios correctly. Next question, determine the following trigonomic ratios for the figure. Um, here's, a little, here's a little calculator hack that you can do. Is if you have a calculator, which you will for a lot of this, if you type in the sides that you know, so we know 35 and 125. So like if I go here and I type in 35 over 125, what does the calculator do for me? It reduces the ratio for me. Now, I could have done this one on my own pretty easily, but they're not all going to be that easy to reduce. So that reduces to 7 and 25. Well, that's a 7, 24, 25. So then 24 times 5 would be 120. So that's the missing link. If I said how big is AC, you would need to know that it's 120. Um, sine of angle A. Well, angle A would be 30. So the sine of angle A, I'm going to do it off to the side here, would equal 35 opposite over 125 adjacent. Here's angle A. This would be opposite. And this is the hypotenuse for angle A. But we want to be fully reduced. So I would actually use my reduced triangle because it, the numbers are already scaled down. So it's going to be opposite over adjacent, uh, sorry, opposite over hypotenuse, but I want the reduced numbers, 25, 7 over 25. So I'm usually actually looking at this triangle. What about the sine of angle B? Well, angle B, opposite would be 120, hypotenuse would be 125, but I'm going to use the reduced version. Here's angle B. Opposite is 24. Hypotenuse is 25. And then the tangent of angle B, again, it's easier to use the reduced one. Here's angle B. We could do it over here, but they're not reduced. But opposite, oh, I didn't write that formula down. Tangent is the TOA part. That is tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So that is 24 over 7 if you reduce the numbers. Which of the following triangles is correct? There's a few ways you could pull this off. But we have only learned how to go forwards. We haven't learned how to undo anything. So keeping in mind what we learned today, this is what I would do. I know that this is 11 degrees. So in my calculator, I'm going to type in the sine of 11. And when I do that, sine of 11, I get 0 0.19. Zero, 08. Well, opposite, that would be, put this over one, that would be opposite over hypotenuse. Is that what I have here? Is that the opposite over the hypotenuse for at 11 degree angle? No, that one's got to be out. But this one it is. Look, that's the number. That's 11. That's the number over one. Well, let's do a quick check. Let's type in the cosine of 11. If it's this, right, that's the adjacent side to my 11. Type in cosine 11. And I get 0 0.9816. Well, that is the number I got. So this triangle, ding, 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 that's the one that works. I could try this one as well. A little trickier because I don't know the hypotenuse. Um, so I have opposite, let me change color, but I have opposite and adjacent here. So I could do tangent of 11, a little bit more work on this one. But if I type in the tangent of 11, I get 0 0.1944, if you round it. That's hard to tell. I would have to type these in. So if I type that in, 0 0.5446 divided by 0 0.8387, is it the same thing? Well, let me test it out. Maybe it is. Maybe we have two answers. 0 0.5446 divided by 0 0.8387. And that equals 0 0.6 something, blah, blah, blah. 
So it's not that. So no, that triangle doesn't check out. So I typed in tan 11. I figured out what it should be. I did the opposite divided by the adjacent. I figured out what it is. Those did not match. So I know that triangle is not correct. All right, here's a solving one. Steps never change, guys. You figure out the angle you want to work on, 18 degrees. And every trig situation is one angle, two sides. So on this particular one, the side I want is opposite, and the side I have is adjacent. So that's the so part of Sokotoa, right? So Katoa. And that's the sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 18 degrees, that's the angle, equals opposite x over hypotenuse 10. So x equals 10 times the sine of 18. If x is up high, all you got to do is multiply. Get it right your first try, 10 times sine 18. You got to get tricky with it. So we type in 10 sine 18. And I get 3.090, boom, 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 got it. And just to confirm, is it logical? X had to be smaller than 10. Has to. And it is. If it was more than 10, then we know we messed up. If we didn't, we're good. Okay, steps never change. Pick the angle you're going to work on. I'm going to work on the 37 degrees. Over here, 10 is opposite my 37. X is adjacent to my 37. So the side I have is opposite. The side I want is adjacent. So that is the TOA part of SOCA TOA. The tangent of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. So remember, if x is up high, all you got to do is multiply. If x is down low, all they got to do is switch places, you know. So if you have 10 divided by x, you swap it with the tangent. Oh, oh. Not tan theta, tan 37. What am I doing? Okay. So x and tan 37 just switch places. I showed you how that works in the other video. Go back and watch it if you need to. But this is the answer. But we're, all these are decimal versions, so let's type it in and get the decimal version. 10 divided by the tangent of 37 is 13.270. It's got to be this guy right here. And then the last one, challenge situation. We have not learned how to find angles yet, but we do have a way to solve this. And this is just kind of a, a situation where, where we can learn some test-taking strategies, SAT, things like that. It's not always a guarantee you know how to do the problem going forwards. But if they give you answer choices, they can assume that you can use answers to work backwards. So let's, let's do this. Let's call this x, that angle x. If I said the sine of x, what would opposite over hypotenuse be? It would be 0 0.8290, right? It'd be over 1, but like over 1 doesn't do anything. So I'm trying to figure out, do any of these, when I do the sine of an angle, do they get me this ratio? So in my calculator, I'm just going to type them in. I type in the sine of 85, and I get 0 0.996. That one's out. I type in the sine of 40. I get 0 0.6427, blah, 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 out. I type in the sine of 56. I get 0 0.8290. Oh, that one's looking pretty good. Let me try the last one real quick. Sine of 34. And I get point, 0 0.5592. This is the only one that fit this. We know that has to be true. We know that the sine of this angle has to equal this divided by 1. We could have done cosine as well, right? What would the cosine of the angle have to equal? adjacent 0 0.5592 over 1. Well, we don't care about the over 1. So if I type in the cosine of 56, does it give me the correct number? Sure does. 0 0.5592, I see it. I see it, I see it. So we know that angle has to be 56 degrees. That was a tricky situation. All right, that's it. We'll see you next week.
Good luck, have fun.